It used to be that making distortion measurements took specialized and expensive equipment. That's not true anymore. Now you can use the sound card in a PC, or even better, a sound card external to your PC, and some free software to make some really high-resolution distortion measurements. You'll need a really low distortion sine wave source. You could use the sound card, but quite frankly, you'll get a lot better results if you use Akatika's 1 kHz oscillator. It has a distortion of less than 2 parts per million, which makes it better than pretty well every sound card that's out there. If you're measuring distortion in a power amp, you'll also need some pretty big load resistors. I keep on hand a pair of 4 ohm resistors, so I can configure them either in series to get 8 ohms, singly as 4 ohms, or even put them in parallel to end up with a brutal 2 ohm load. The amount of signal that comes out of a power amplifier is enough to basically damage the input of any sound card. So what we've got to do is have a little bit of safety circuit between the power amp and the sound card, and also an attenuator. The box shown in this picture is a switchable attenuator, which has enough attenuation so that you can measure a pretty big power amp without getting into trouble on your sound card. Of course you'll need a piece of equipment to test, and today we're going to be testing Akatika's GT102 power amplifier. You'll notice we've set an oscilloscope on top of the amplifier, and that way we'll be able to look for such gross things as when we're overdriving the amplifier past where it's going to be linear, and we're causing clipping, and we'll just stay away from that region, or at least know where the boundary is. The last thing we'll need is a PC running Arta software. That's the software that turns a PC and a sound card into a spectrum analyzer. The spectrum analyzer will be used to display the signal and distortion products coming out of the power amplifier under test. The scope shows an output voltage of 21.8 volts RMS. That calculates out to 59.4 watts. And you'll notice at that particular power, all of the harmonics are still about 90 dB down or better with respect to the fundamental. That says that the GT102 power amplifier delivering 9 more watts than its rated 50 watts still has second harmonic distortion that's just 0.0027%. This next slide shows where you can download the Arta software. Also for reference, it shows the name and the model number of the Behringer UCA202 sound card that I use external to my laptop. The next picture here shows the schematic of the attenuator. And it has, at the end, you'll see a pair of back-to-back -back LEDs that provide clipping. And they limit the amount of voltage that can appear at the A to D which protects it, but during normal operation the clippers are not operational so that they don't add distortion. The rest of the circuit is made up of a selector switch and just a number of 10 and 20k 1% precision resistors. If you have more questions, feel free to send me email dan at akatika.com. Thanks for visiting with us today.